Hi friends, welcome to One and All Kids. It's Thanksgiving week. I hope that you guys have a great time with your friends and family celebrating thankfulness. And welcome back to another week of Parade of Thanks series. We are looking at how we can be thankful. Last week, we heard about being thankful for friends like David and Jonathan. This week, we are learning to thank God for food. Mmm, let's hear all about it. Worship time is here! Worshiping God together is an amazing thing that we can do. But did you know that when we worship, it is also something between just you and God? Worship is both a time to sing and dance with friends, but also a time to tell God how much you love Him, just between you two. When we sing our first song, focus on telling God what's in your heart. Let's sing. worship Him and have a relationship with Him. One of the best parts of worship is that we can all come together and praise Jesus as one big group. Praising Jesus with other people is incredible because we get to see that we aren't alone in loving Jesus. Other people love Him and praise Him too. Let's all sing together now. There is a fire in my heart, in my heart To tell the world just who you are, who you are In everything I do, in everything I say I will never be ashamed, be ashamed Cause I, I just wanna let go Jesus, you have saved me so I will never be ashamed I will sing from the rooftops With all that I have I'm gonna lift up Both of my hands I'm gonna make it loud Gonna sing and shout From the rooftops Oh, you are my God Oh, you are my God Oh, so with 
this fire in my heart, in my heart I'll tell the world just who you are, who you are And everything I do, and everything I say I will never be afraid, be afraid From the rooftops, with all that I have I'm gonna lift up both of my hands I'm gonna make it loud, gonna sing and shout From the rooftops, oh You'll never stop loving us, you'll never stop, no You'll never stop loving us, you'll never stop, no You'll never stop loving us, you'll never stop, no You'll never stop loving us, you'll never stop, no I'm gonna make it loud, gonna sing and shout from the rooftops. Oh, oh, oh. you are my God. You are my God. You, you are, are my God. God. You are my God. You are yes, my you. you are my God. You are my. You are my God. You are my. Hi, friends. We're gonna sing our special song. Let's go. God gave me grass for my toes, flowers for my nose. I see God wherever I go. He gave me hands for high fives. High five, high five, high five. He gave me breath to be alive. I see God wherever I go. Let's sing it again. God gave me grass for my toes, flowers for my nose. I see God wherever I go. He gave me hands for high fives. High five, high five, high five. He gave me breath to be alive. <gasps> I see God wherever I go. Bye, friends. That song is amazing. And I love that we all get to tell Jesus how much we love him together. We get to sing and dance some more at the end of service. But now we get to hear our true Bible story from Ollie. So grab your Bible, grab a seat, and get ready to learn with us. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through. Who? Ollie's got a Bible story for me. Oh, hi friends, I'm Justin the Mailman, and wow, oh wow, I am thankful today. Thank you God for this beautiful day, and for the colorful leaves, and for the pumpkin donut I had this morning. And in today's story, some people learn to thank God for their food. Do you want to hear it? Great, let me just put the story mail in the mailbox. Today's true story from the Bible begins with some people called the Israelites. Everyone say hello. Hello. Look at their faces. Do the Israelites look happy? No, they don't. They look very unhappy. The Israelites were walking in a desert. There are no trees to sit under in a desert. There is no cool water to swim in. There are no grocery stores or restaurants for food. And the Israelites had been walking in a hot desert for a very long time. They walked and they walked and they walked. Wait, what was that? Did you hear that? That sounds like someone's tummy growling. Is your tummy growling? My tummy isn't growling. It must be the Israelites. What does it mean when someone's tummy is growling? Yes, it means they are hungry. And the Israelites were very hungry because they didn't have any food. God knew that the Israelites needed food. 
So he told their leader Moses that he would send meat at night and bread in the morning. Wow, God is so good. That night, they had plenty of meat to eat for dinner. Everyone was so happy to have food. Let's say, thank you, God. Thank you, God. Then the next morning, there were small pieces of bread all over the ground for the people to eat. Let's say, thank you, God. Thank you, God. Every day, God made sure the people had meat to eat at night and bread to eat in the morning. Wow, God is so good. God gave the Israelites food to eat. Wow, we can thank God for food. Thank you, God, for our food. Oh, hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who can you thank for everything? I can thank God for everything. Yes, it's true. Now, let's hear it from you. Tell me, who can you thank for everything? I can thank God for everything. That's the truth, friends. I'll see you next time. Who can you thank for everything? I can thank God for everything! That's right, Otis. Great job! Now, let's see how well we can remember our story. Friends, friends, we have some questions, and if you know the answers, you them after us! In our story today, we heard about the Israelites in the desert. Were the Israelites happy and joyful, or were they upset and hungry? Hmm. That's right! They were upset and hungry! God knew what the Israelites needed, so God talked to their leader. Was his name Keith, or was it Moses? It was Moses! God told Moses that he would send the Israelites some food at night. Was that food Skittles? Hmm. Or was it meat? Hmm. It was meat! And did God send the bread in the mornings? Or did he send them some pancakes? Hmm. Pancakes do sound good, but... He sent small flakes of bread called manna. Wow! That sounds good! Yes, he did! Good job, friends! Who can you thank for everything? I can thank God for everything! I love thanking God for everything. One way I remember to do that is by saying our memory verse. It comes from Ephesians 5.20, and it says, Always give thanks to God. Ephesians 5.20. Oh, that was good. Good job, Yesenia. Okay, this time, can we say our verse? But while our mouths are full of nom, 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 <laughs> Of course. Here we go. Everyone say our verse with a pretend mouthful of food, okay? So, mm, verse. Ready? <laughs> One, two, three. Oh, that's good. Good job, Yesenia and friends. That was amazing. It was. Now it's time for our big pause. This is the time where we pause our bodies and our minds and think about who God is and what he does in our lives. Pause the video and take some time to think about this question. What are some things you are thankful for? Answer this question with your friends around you when you pause. Okay, here comes our big pause in three, two, one. Big, big pause! pause. Oh, wow! Good job, everyone! That was awesome! Now we will close our time by praying. You can pause the video and talk with your friends about prayer requests, or you can pray along with us. Yeah, prayer is just talking to God. We can talk to Him about the big things and the small things that happen all around us. All right, let's close our eyes and pray together. God, thank you for giving the Israelites the food they needed. Thank you for the food you give us. We are so, so thankful. We love you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Bye, friends. See you next time. Hey, everyone. Now it's time for our offering. 
Giving our offering shows others that we love Jesus. Sometimes we want to keep what we have to ourselves, but Jesus tells us to share with others. When we give our offering back to him, we are showing other people that we love Jesus more than we love our stuff and our money. By doing this, we get the chance to show others with our actions that Jesus is the very best and we love him very much. Talk to your parents about what it means to give your offering today. Now it's time for our last worship song. Stand up on your feet and worship with us. I love worshiping and I can't wait to do it again next time. Don't forget to come back next week and bring some friends to come with you too. Inviting friends to learn about Jesus is fun. It helps us to share about Jesus' love for everyone. This week, ask your parents to help you invite a friend to watch church with you. Until then, we want to send you off into the week with one hope and one life in Christ. Bye friends!